What's up everyone? It's me, Dan. Dan do that in Vietnam. I haven't posted for a couple of days. It's things have not been going the way I want. Vietnam is fine. Vietnam is fine, but uh, my money my money is not my money is not fine. Um, I originally came to Vietnam, the big city, Big Apple, Hanoi. I saw the hustle and bustle for a day, that was enough for me, I got out of there. I came to uh, a small town in the north called Back Camp. Here I stayed in a hotel for uh, uh, two days, I negotiated a low rate, got to know the owner. She gave me a great deal, on a, month, a much better deal than I deserved. A better deal than she probably was comfortable with. But at the same time, I met a man. He took me to his wedding. We became fast friends. He said, "Don't stay at that hotel. You can stay with me, man. I got a farmhouse. You can hang out with me. We're just gonna kick it, you know, talk, whatever." Bet. The difference between these two places was one was free. One was three million dollars. I came here on a budget, I came here with five, maybe? I came here with like five million. Two million is enough for a single guy like me to live just fine. Uh, you know, no extravagancies, no, you know, major outings or anything like that, right? So, but I had to consider, you know, I'm making videos. I'm like, oh, I want you to be able to do things, be entertaining sit here for a month, you know, what am I going to do, just sit here and wither away until my job starts, you know, so I took all these things into account, and I said, let's go to the farmhouse, I'll rough it a little bit, I'll make some videos, I'll have a little bit of extra pocket change, you know, I can go on an adventure, show some different sides, or whatever it is, more money, more options, is what I was thinking. deal is fine. It would give me a place to stay for a month. You know, a little little hotel room, bathroom, shower, occasional hot and cold water. <laughs> Occasionally the water was hot. You know, it had a little air conditioner up in the corner. It was it was fine. The TV was shitty, but I just watched my YouTube or something on my cell phone. The farmhouse. It took me to the farm. It had Wi-Fi, you know. It doesn't have hot water, but the hotel room barely had hot water, and I've been without hot water in the Philippines for a while, you know, when I first went there, it was hot, you know, hot water built into the houses there, you gotta, you gotta buy hot water here, so, you know, every time I go somewhere, move to a new place in the Philippines, you know, you shower with cold water, unless you bring out the hot water here with you, anyway, so that wasn't a deal breaker, and I thought, oh, Never live on a farm, it's a cool chicken farm, I can help out, whatever, do whatever, I have some spending money, boom. I chose the farm. The word that it was free. Rough it. Rough it for free, that's a good deal. But this is why I am a <laughs> emotional, emotionless husk as it is, you know. I, I hate trusting people, but you know, when you go somewhere alone in a brand new place with a limited amount of money, sometimes you're like, you gotta have some faith, you gotta have some faith somewhere that, oh, uh, something's gonna happen, I'm gonna figure this out, I'm gonna be taken care of in some way. I thought this was that way. I met this very cool guy, he took me to his daughter's wedding, wedding after party on the very first day I met him, you know, I was just searching for, it, it, it was all serendipity. But uh, then he wanted to take a trip to Bobby Lake. It's a tourist destination, you know, nature, whatever. It's fine, hey, may I make a video? You guys saw it. That trip was not fun. <laughs> that trip was not fun. It was not a nature trip. That was a trip where 
you know, family member to family member to, hey, be, be Dan, my American friend, here's my update, here's my child, da, da, da. We saw the family, we did the rounds, uh, you know, you know we're doing okay rounds. Uh, I'm not gonna put this man's personal business out there, but, you know, he, some, I'm okay, look at me, rounds are in order. So, so uh, you know, look, 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 look what I got. Look at this car. Got this car, I'm driving to Bob Bay, vacation with my family, got this American nigga with me. That's what we was doing. That's, that's, not, what I, that's not what I signed up for, but whatever, it's free. Get back and it's like, all right, you know, all right, I can't afford a car, man. I need you to chip in with this car. Yeah, okay, well, you know, whatever. You let me stay for free. I understand. You want to take a trip? We took a trip. I made a video. I met some family. I had a nice time with the old man. I had some nice food. I'll chip in. You know, you're doing me a kindness. Uh, you let me use your bike, right? So I'm staying on the farm for free. The farm is remote. The farm is not in the city. The farm is not near the city. So, in order to get back and forth, he let me use his motorcycle. Great guy. He seems like he's a good guy. Nice guy. Then the calls start popping up, and uh, the rental car is a million. Okay, I don't like it, but what other choice do I have anyway? I'm standing at the man's house and using his motorcycle. You know, I, the my working on the farm quickly started to taper off. Uh, first, I was working, you know, working with him every day, but then it's like, no, 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 don't worry about that. I'm not doing nothing today. You just relax. No, 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 don't worry about it. Go, go to town. Go hang out. Go meet some. Da, da, da. You know, I'm like, nah, man. I kind of, I want to work with you. I want to go and do this, but it's like, no, no, no. You can't do anything. You can't help me with anything. Just relax, go to sleep, whatever. Take the bike, go. So, alright, I go. Go into town and waste time. Um, so I pay for this rental car. In order for him to get back and forth, you know, he's had to get another bike. You know, like a second hand or some repair, some old, uh, disused bike he had already, I'm not sure. Um, you know, a little clunker. He gave me his good bike and he's driving on a clunker. Clunker broke down one day in a very heavy rain. It was like a, a typhoon or hurricane washed over this area. Flooding, maybe his carburetor flooded or something like that. He took it to the mechanic. Um, and he comes to me that next day, he's like, Motorcycle cost me four hundred fifty thousand to repair. You know, uh, driving around in this clunker. You got my bike. I need that four fifty. He didn't say it like that. Um, and then I'm like, hmm, okay, four fifty. That's what one point five mil. You know, one million justifiable. Cost of, you know, there's no such thing as free. Um, I, I can buy or do anything for one million anyway. That's that's not not losing any options, or there's no other uh, justifiable option I could uh, take advantage of for one million. One point five million. Now I've spent one point five million. It's been two weeks. I've been I've been with him for two weeks. I've spent one point five million. 1.5 million, I could have rented a motorcycle for one month. I've been indebted to anybody. No rules, no one overlooking me if I fucking over rev the engine or or, or, or or stall or whatever. It's just me and the motorcycle. I paid, it's fair. I got it for a month, I'll give it back to you in 30 days. That's 1.5 million. What else is 1.5 million? One month of rent plus the deposit. See where I'm 
going now, right? One million, it's not enough to pay for a month of rent and the, and the deposit. Deposit, you know, one month rent, one month deposit in order to rent a place. I could rent a, you know, admittedly, very tiny hole in the wall, you know, bathroom right behind the bed, you know, little student housing type of place for 800000 a month. One month to stay plus the one month deposit, that's one six. I pay one five right now. I, you know, 100000 is four dollars. It doesn't make any difference. But um, so now I'm looking at the money. I'm like, okay, I have already spent the money for two other options. One of them, two other one month long options. Right? I, I need to stall for a little over a month before my job starts. I need to kick back, I needed to save whatever, live frugally, whatever it is. I needed to spend a month here in Vietnam with no income coming. You can't get better you can't get better than free. Now it's not free anymore and I've spent some money. It's enough money that I could have covered myself for a month, admittedly, in a complete shithole. It would have been terrible super uncomfortable I would still have to buy you know a mattress or buy a mosquito net buy a fan whatever creature comforts I'd have to sign up for internet or whatever it is and, you know there were there of course are additional costs that go into renting your own place you, know, you got some sort of gas range a stove or something like that I would have to so yes it would cost more than 1.5 million but I was just like a des desperate situation, you know. I'd at least have some place, you know, if someone robbed me and stabbed me, I could, I'd at least have a place in the town I could bloody, you know, crawl back to on the pavement, streaming blood behind me, crawl back to my house and lie down like, like the punishment. <laughs> you, know, I could, you know, I have my own respite. This uh, farmhouse is like, a couple miles outside of the town. I can't crawl back there. Yeah, you, you can barely walk there. So the road is so muddy, you know, so much just unpaved mud road, prone to, to flooding, maybe mudslides, but you know, when I face down in the mud and suffocate, but anyway. So I'll spend that one point. Last night, last night, we were having dinner. They had invited a friend over. We were all having dinner. And they said, oh, let's go to KTV. And I was down to go to KTV. I said, okay, well, how much is that? It's 100000 That's four bucks. That's a swing. Oh, 100000 for KTV. Okay, that's fine if everyone is paying for their own drinks. Because what happened last night, we go to KTV, it's just, at first it's just the three of us. It's me, him, and uh, his wife's work friend. Went to the KTV, his wife didn't go. But he brought his son, like, like seven, eight year old, I don't know how old the boy is. For the sun to be KTV, so you know it wasn't going to get too crazy anyway. We're just going to sing. The the, uh, the work friend said, you know, she loved to. That was her thing. She loved to sing. And she was all excited. That's fine. Go to the KTV. The KTV doesn't have <laughs> any English songs that I can sing in their you know list. They got some. They have they have like Spice Girls. So I'll tell you what I want, but I don't know that fucking song. I don't know these songs. I. I didn't even try to learn any songs for karaoke until like a, a few months ago, you know, um, in the Philippines. Just, so my my list is just songs I like, which is like newer, you know, whatever songs from my time that I want to sing. They're not on the the kitchen, so I can't sing shit anyway. All I'm gonna be doing is sitting there eating their sunflower seeds, you know. Sipping on this bitter ass coffee. <laughs> and um, 
he calls over his some buddies, his his uh, his brother-in-law, sister-in-law, and her her husband. They come over. He calls over uh, the roommate, my roommate at the farm. He comes over. So now we got one, two, three, four, five, like six people there, and then they get uh, a, like an ice yogurt drink. Then they, they try to order some beers. I'm like, nah, 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 we're not, I'm like, we're not doing that. We're not getting, it's not that, it's Monday night. We're not doing that. I, I was like, nah, nah, nah. Because I had seen that nigga, I seen him. You know, the waiter came in, he had put in an order. I seen that nigga, like, they both did that. You know that look? Every foreigner knows that look when somebody else is ordering. And then the, 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 person who speaks the language and then the waiter they both same thing that you know they, I know that look I seen that look they looked at me and I was like I'm getting this what I'm saying you didn't say anything you know I seen that shit and then that nigga disappeared right so it's not like I could be like hey what's going on I'm not paying for all these that nigga disappeared <laughs> and it's just his sister-in-law, her husband, the, the work friend, and then the, my roommate uh, at the farm. And then the roommate at the farm goes, and then, uh, so, everyone else is singing. I'm sitting there. It's <laughs> just sulking over some sunflower seeds as I know. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, your brother said, like, come on, man. Just, we'll split one beer. Just split one beer with me. Come on, man. All right, because, right, you know, I think Vietnam has a coffee culture. You know, everywhere's a cafe. They make the little tiny cups of coffee, but... I guess it's strong, but god damn, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> that shit is... That shit is rough. Like, drink, like, a, it's like drinking, you know, liquor, but coffee, you know? So, I don't, I'm starting to, you know, I'm gonna have to find some Folgers or some shit. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do for coffee. This is, I'm gonna have to, like, bring my own mug everywhere I go so that I can order that shit down because it's just too strong. It's a coffee sludge. Anyway, anyway, not the hard one. Vietnam is fine. Vietnamese coffee is its own thing. It's not for everybody. It's not for, it's not for me. I want some sweet, light, wake me up, refresh me type of coffee. Coffee where I'm like, not coffee where I'm like, like swallowing a drink, you know. But, so the end of the, you know, it's boring. It's just a bunch of adults singing and not drinking. And then uh, uh, I'm just sitting there, you know, trying. I can't use Google Translate because the music's so loud. It can't hear me. So I'm trying to type out, hold it up, the big word. It's a wash. And, it, and it's time to go. Like, all right, we're gonna wrap it up last song. Let's go. Cause he comes back, he's like, yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's wrap this up. It's, you know, there's nothing happening. Like, yeah, ain't nobody here. <laughs> ain't nobody here. We wrap it up, and then uh, on the way out, what I think happened is he went with the roommate, cause the roommate was already at the karaoke, but he was in another room with his friends. I think he, uh, my host, went with the roommate to the other room and got drunk because they were, he took me over there, I shook a couple of hands, I took a couple of selfies with his, the, with the roommate's friends, all young, young cats. And uh, I think maybe he went over there and was drinking with them because he came back, I think he was slightly inebriated, I'm not sure, but we didn't have no fucking drinks together, so I don't know how he could have got drunk. Um, until, you know, so we wrap it up and then walking out, right, and everybody's his family is all together. He's like, all right, man, you got this covered, this right. <sighs> it's 
the issue. It's not that I'm afraid to say no. No, nigga, I'm not crazy. What? This was your idea. I'm, I don't want this. I said in the beginning, I'm not trying to spend no money. Before we left, it was like, yeah, yeah, you could spend two million. I'm like, See, I'm not spending shit. I'm not spending nothing. I don't want to go here. <laughs> I'm just going for y'all. I can't sing here. I said that from the beginning. They knew. Um, but, you know, so one, I'm not trying to embarrass or start some shit. And it's, it's, it's like 11 o'clock at night on a, on a weekday. You know, there's a bunch of adults walking out, not drunk. For one, it's awkward. Know, and I'm, I would have my uh, and then what Google Translate what's going on to so, besides that let's say I do like nah only I'm not we're not gonna do that uh, then it's a standoff then it's a confrontation and it's like okay maybe this relationship goes sour Where's all my stuff at his farmhouse? Where's my 1.5 million <laughs> spent already? Where am I gonna sleep if this goes as south as it can go? I don't know. How am I gonna carry my stuff from that farmhouse to the city to a hotel? I don't know. How am I gonna last the rest of this month? It's, it's August, early August. I gotta get to September. I'm not gonna last the rest of this month on the money I have left. Because again, this was supposed to be free. I waited like a week or two before I spent anything. You know, just to see if the ball dropped. It didn't drop. So I was like, okay, that's cool. There was one or two times he was like, yeah, let's go drinking or whatever. I don't know, we did stuff. I spent some money. Trust him, you know. Trust him. Now here I am, it's the next day, it's the next morning, right? I seen him going out, I just said, yeah, I'm going out, whatever. I took the bike and I came over here and have some breakfast. Uh, I did not drink a coffee. <laughs> this is gonna be, you know, there's a nice coffee shop. I like going to, it's peaceful. I see the same people every day. The woman who works there, she's a pretty smile. Um, but that shit is disgusting. <laughs> shit is disgusting. Even like a iced coffee is. I, I feel bad if I, because I, I want to keep going there. Just, you know, my role model, one of my role models, my grandfather, he, he's in the Philippines. You know? He goes to like, makes his rounds every day, the same rounds every day. He goes to Dunkin' Donuts and he goes to whatever. And he, you know, he gets a little circle of friends, you know, he knows his regulars. That is, um, Objectively beneficial to the, uh, an expat. Just getting good with a couple of people, just just in case. Um, if I ever have a question, I just like, hey, you know, whatever. Just throw a compliment here, there, whatever. Um, so I try to do that. Right now, the place I'm at, Chip T. They see me. They know me. I'm here. You know, I come. Here. Coffee place, they see me, they know me, I go there. It's really it because I don't have that much money. <laughs> but, but that's how I'm gonna, I want to keep going there, but I, I feel weird if I'm like, oh, I don't want the coffee that you make by hand or the I would instead prefer a Red Bull. <laughs> give me a Red Bull, give me something else, <laughs> anything else, but you don't make anything else. This is a coffee shop, that's all you make. So the, the trouble is I need to find new accommodation. I got no problem hitting a hard stop, you know, a hard return, you know, pulling out more money. Because this nigga's talking about, oh, yeah, yeah, in a couple days, we're all going to go to Hanoi. We're all going to go to Hanoi. I'm going to take my daughter. She's going to go study in Hanoi. We're going to take a little family trip down there. Yay! This is how this nigga say, yeah. He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I should have known not to trust him. <laughs> don't trust a nigga to laugh like that. Nah, I'm going to cut that part out. I'm going to cut that part out. I don't want this to be identified. Anyway, that's the issue. Because 
that I know that that trip is going to cost money. And I, I, I can't. I'm not doing it. I can't. So I need to find some new accommodation. I had a. I don't know. I don't know. Find a place. I got. I got about two million. About two million cash left. Now that's enough to find a shithole. A shithole to. <laughs> to you know, shelter in. Um, doesn't leave me much for food, you know, but unexpected calls. I can't I can't keep paying it. So I'm gonna try to find either a shithole or I've talked to my employer, they said that there is accommodation available near the school and that they could possibly stay there, rent the place there until the school starts. But they said they need some time to work that out. I don't know how much time there that's going to take to work out. And if I knew, then I could plan better. I could say, okay, well, I'll stay at a hotel for five days. That's fine. A hotel for five days will cost me a million million, 1.5 maybe, depending on, you know, if I go back to the, the first hotel I stayed in, I get a great deal on my five days. They'd be happy to have me. I miss them anyway. They were nice. But yeah, it's just, uh, and I don't want to make it seem like I came down here with nothing. I, you know, I came down here on a budget, of course. I had a little bit of savings. And all, what is five, five million, six million? That's what I is 100, so a million is 40, times 5, so I came down here with like 200 bucks, now that may seem like a very small amount, I came down here with a little more than that, but it seems like a small amount, but I've experienced living in a third world type country for a few years now, I know that that is enough. But anyway, it's enough for a month to float for a month. If you, you know, live frugally, find a hookup here or there, yes, it's just totally possible. It still is, I just, it's just down to the wire. So I may, I'm, what I'm contemplating is taking that motorcycle, <laughs> taking that motor, that nigga motorcycle, going down to the area where the school is, but the school is not in this town. School is like an hour or two away from here in another city larger than this one but smaller than Hanover which you know, I don't want to teach in a big city I don't like it I don't like it um, but I've never been there so I, I go there brand new knowing nobody hit the hotel pay the full price so try to negotiate that down for you know, I got lucky the first the hotel here you know it's just very small town nice old people everyone's been here I'm a new face and they're like oh yeah, yeah. Come on, you know, I got the hookup. Um, I got the nice nigga hookup. <laughs> but over there, I don't know if I'll get a nice nigga hookup. I don't know. There's a there's a foreign language school there. They see foreigners probably all the time. I don't know. They might be like, nah, nah, woo, no. I know what your salary is. You pay full price. <laughs> you know, so, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm find. And then I'd have to go down there, set up some accommodation, come back. You know, I could probably finagle one day where I don't see them at all, where I don't see my host at all. So I can get 24 hours down there. And then I'd have to come back because I still have to get my stuff. My stuff is, is at the farmhouse. So I'd have to get my stuff, pack it up. And the problem is I can't be like, Packing up all my stuff, loading it up into the back of the bike, and this nigga's like, "Hey, where you, where you, you leaving with with my bike? You're not leaving with my bike, you know? It could be a thing, so I have to get my stuff, deliver it back to that far, far away city, an hour, hour and a half, or however far away it is. You know, it might, it might even be farther. It's, it's about three hours from Hanoi to here. 
here but I can't. Yeah, the city is over here. Now, I don't know if there's a direct route this way. I think I may have to go back down, almost the handle, back up. So maybe it'd be longer than that. Maybe four hours, five hours. I don't know how long the drive is. So I'd have to look at my stuff, then come back, return his bike, figure out how to ride a bus. I still have not ridden a bus because I Ubered up here to this town. Incredibly expensive. And then um, I, he gave me a motorcycle, so I've just been driving myself. So I have to figure out the bus route to get there. Or I could try to just find accommodation here or just awkwardly pass in the street, right? You know, just see all these family members and people I know, and I just left them, you know? But it's too expensive. It's too expensive. I gotta do something. So I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. You know, more money. More money is always the solution, ain't it? If I had more money, it'd be fine. I'd, I'd dip out, find some house here or something or whatever. Or I'd have enough to carry all my luggage and go down to uh, the other town all at the same time. This is getting, this is a very long video. I've just been rambling on telling the story, but I haven't posted in a couple days. If you want to watch a nigga talk for 30 minutes, if you are hearing this right now, then um, I appreciate you listening. <laughs> and I'll try to keep you updated on what what transpires, but you know, I just gotta figure out what to do. Maybe sell something. I could, I have like a karaoke machine. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm not the type to say fuck it and walk out, right? If I had a job, I wouldn't just like quit on the spot with no other option, you know, and then the rents do. I, that's not, I can't, that's not me, right? I, you know, I'm gonna make sure I got another job lined up before I quit the first job. You know, I may even skip a couple days at the first job to go interview and sign the paperwork and, you know, Calling sick, hey, <laughs> and go work my first first day at the other job, and then put my you know two weeks notice in. I can't, you know, I can't just be like, nah, I'm out, I'm done. I'm not gonna pay nothing. I'm not gonna. So I have to finagle this, um, and that's why I brought some things. I brought a karaoke machine. Which, there's nothing else to do here, but drink liquor, drink coffee, and sing karaoke. So I figured I could sell that. It's pretty nice. It's got Vietnamese songs on and everything. Vietnamese, English, HDMI, right to the TV. It's pretty, pretty good. App on your phone. It's a pretty good little machine. I bought it for a pretty penny. Um, so I can probably sell that. that you know, I bought it for... something like that. I bought it for like two fifty, three hundred. dollars dollars I can sell it for $150. Um, so that's a couple million, it's like two, three million, something like that. It's plenty. With extra, if I had five million again, I could probably find a house for two million. That'll give me first month's rent and the deposit. That's four million paid. But this house will have some Furnishings. I you don't know, have hot cold water, might have stove, maybe air conditioner already set up. I don't know. Just options. More money, more options. I'm Dan from Dan Do That. Y'all keep it. I never said that. I have no catchphrase. <laughs>